Hey guys, and welcome back to Terra Tech with me, Tenzin. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Um, so today we're we got this behemoth of a <laughs> of a flying machine here. Um, in the last one, we, I said we were gonna fool around. In this episode, we'll probably do a couple of, couple of them. I, I've been interested in some flying stuff lately. So, unfortunately, we were out of uh, cruise missiles. So. We can't use them in this episode, and we're out of money, so <laughs> obviously we need to go harvesting again. But as you can see, the whole underbelly of this is megaton cannons. <laughs> so it's like a megaton bomber almost. Uh, but yeah, uh, also uh, because of the update, seems like everything kind of changed, has changed a little bit, like uh, the physics. So I've been talking about how we were going to check out uh, the flying physics or whatever so I don't know well obviously the megaton cannons are super heavy <laughs> so I had to put uh, 28 Hawkeye uh, rotor fans on here and six what are these ones called the venture rotor fans venture seraphin nose propeller <laughs> actually you know what we should put a couple more on here so top speed on this is 96 miles per hour because I put a speedometer on it now and I think they are making like the magic number 100 miles an hour to take off the ground with uh, unassisted, right? Like right now, if we hit a hill and get a little bit of umph, it, it takes off by itself, right? But I have a feeling it might be 100. So let's just put two more of these on. Because I, uh, I don't think they actually help. Or like for each additional one, it doesn't seem like there's a ton. We'll actually look at it. Uh, like a ton of extra boost, but we will definitely take a look at it. Um, yeah, so there's let's just lift this up really quickly. There are two, four, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven megaton cannons on here, 20, 28 Hawkeye rotor fans, eight propellers, <laughs> um, what two, four, six wheels, and these two don't even this one and the other one. Don't even touch the ground, they're kind of like training wheels, so when we start to tip over, they catch us. So we don't drag a blade into the ground, or a wing into the ground. Um, I made it all out of venture blocks, pretty much, because they're the lightest blocks, right? We did this with Hawkeye, there's no way it's getting off the ground. Although, we will have to look at, um, maybe do, like, maybe we'll use the same frame, but maybe, like, uh, try and make, like, a Chinook helicopter or something like that. See how that works. Um, I'm not gonna hold my breath on it because we still need wings. I think, but we're well. De we're de we're definitely gonna give it a shot. <laughs> Stuttered a little bit there. Okay, so let's see. But yeah, and then there's an invader that popped up there. So okay, let's see how fast we're going right here. So we're going 90, 99 miles an hour. So adding those two. Pretty much only added what 1.5 miles per hour, but we're still pretty heavy. I think it might be the Hawkeye rotor fans. To be honest, they seem like they're pretty heavy. Um, we've been using them lately, and ev that's bright. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. Um, we've been using them lately, so maybe we'll switch them up. Cause I don't. It might not be the uh, best thing to, uh, use for lift anymore. But yeah, um, oh, and we put three cabs on here. There's two on the front, one on the bottom. The one on the bottom is the one that I originally started building with, and I was like, well, if we're flying by and they just get that one lucky shot off and clip, <laughs> clip us, we're in big trouble, right? So, let's see what we can do. Um, oh, we did nail them. I was gonna say the... Oh, we hit them both. Wow. Okay. So we definitely have to get close to the ground. But, uh... Yeah, I, I didn't think that it was actually going to target that easy. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Wow. Because with a... <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. So, Megaton Bomber? I think so. <laughs> it's going to take passes and stuff like that. But, also now, um... What is it? Aw, oh, darn. Um, Terra Tech has made it so you get a bigger cash reward for completing ch uh, quests. 
So, we need money. We could definitely do some uh, aerial combat, I guess you'd say. <laughs> we'll try and, uh, oops, there's a little bit of a, I don't know why it does that. It just does it every once in a while, like a little bit of a little, I want to say lag, but it's not quite. Um, I used to do that at the very beginning too. It's almost like there's something going on with the game. It's not lag. Anyways, <laughs> it might be lag. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, this uh, this one really flies pretty good, actually. Um, turns well. But yeah, for the amount of um, propellers we have on, or rotor fans we have on here, especially for the Hawkeye, I'd almost assume that uh, they're no longer the strongest. Maybe we need to start uh, aiming earlier, or firing earlier. I'm just trying to get that those two Hawkeye guys, and it's... It's kind of hard. It's a little get, getting a little difficult. Um, but maybe. Okay. Okay. I can't. I can't drive. <laughs> Let's see if they'll fire backwards. Eh, maybe. So obviously, we need to be within a certain distance so that the megaton cannons focus, right, or actually pick up an enemy. Oh yeah, like we smashed this guy pretty good to Huh. This is interesting. I was kinda hoping that when we fired the Megaton cannons you'd see the plane actually like lift up off the ground or lift up off the ground. It is off the ground. Haha, uh -huh, you can't hit us. Megaton cannons don't aim upwards. <laughs> so So far so good. Um Trying to think. Is there another way we could do this with the megaton cannons? I don't know if there is. Like, but yeah, because like I said, I don't think the megaton cannons actually aim upwards, do they? Gotta watch this guy. He's <laughs> he's big, and if we accidentally mess up and end up hitting the ground, those uh. What, 20 to 30 megaton cannons he has is just going to rip us a new one. Or rip us apart without us even knowing about it. And to be honest, <laughs> I prefer not losing all these parts. <laughs> okay, so let's see what happens if we start firing ahead of time. But at the moment it's not. Okay, we were targeting, it just wasn't, uh, sorry, uh, the camera angles but yeah we were targeting it just wasn't as good as we thought it could have been or it should have been huh so megaton cannons yeah obviously we know take time to rotate huh huh i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna hmm this is a mind scratcher you know what i mean like, kinda only have one or two good shots. Okay, let's go over here. We'll set. Oh, oh, wow. We'll set her down. Um, maybe I'll put some rockets on here. See if we can get over that hundred miles. Cause yeah, see in the air right now, we are at a hundred and one. Oops, I think our base is over this way, or um, not our base, but. We, where we have set up shop. Now, also, I didn't say it off the bat. This turret right here is the new, uh, oops, the Anchor AI module. So I wanted to see if it was going to be, you know, decent. And it, so far, it doesn't seem too bad. It hasn't done anything. We haven't, uh, we haven't lost anything. So um, I'm just going to. Throw a receiver on this guy and a battery over here. Charge me up, and we're just gonna do a little bit of repairs. Especially this one. This is the wing that takes all the damage. <laughs> I don't think there's any other damage. There might be a little bit somewhere else.
Uh, it doesn't look like it. It looks like we might be in the clear. So I always like to bring the right side down for some reason. Yep. The nose? Alright. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> oh, and yes, uh, when we broke down the harvester, the SCU unit did what I wanted it to do, and it grabbed like 20 blocks at once and sucked them all in. <laughs> Not one at a time, kind of in a clockwise fashion, I guess you'd say. Alright, so... The Megaton cannons are like that, eh? Because I was thinking, okay, well, if these didn't work, we could replace them all with cruise missiles. But we don't have cruise missiles, unfortunately. They are too expensive. They're four grand. They've changed. <laughs> they've changed all the prices. So we're gonna have to harvest for a long time to get all those. Or so let's look at the weapons we do have. What can we add to this? Make it just a little more deadlier. We could try the seeker missiles. Actually, maybe that's what we should do. We'll take out all the megaton cannons. Oh, there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we'll take out all the megaton cannons. We only have seven seeker missiles, but it should be enough. Uh, we just have to leave one space behind them for them to actually fire and not. Um, This is the hardest part here. It's like, which way is it aimed? We're looking for the red tips. Yeah, yeah just like that. Oops, I think that was it. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. Gonna have to rotate all the way through it, all of these now. Okay, how many we got left? Two. <laughs> Trying to see, this is with these guys. It's a little hard. The only reason I want to try these is because they have that limited range, right? They're not like a million mile range, or they. Unless they've changed it when they fully released the patch, but I. Because we haven't used them since the full patch release, but. Um, yeah, unfortunately, they are very close to the ground, so. If we hit the ground, that's not gonna be fun. Oh, what the heck? I've never had the big tires sink into the ground. Look at that. Okay. Really? Okay, there we go. Oh, I want to put a rocket or two on here, don't we? Um, well, actually, now that we've changed the weight, let's see if it picks up the speed. See how much the megaton cannons weighed us down. Watch, now we're like super, super fast or something like that. Okay, so we are hit, we hit a hundred without having. Okay. Well, yeah, the megaton cannons were pretty heavy. <laughs> um. Wow. So we took off without even needing the assist of a hill, which is great. Whenever you can do that, that is uh, really, really preferable. Why is that so high in the sky? Is that... This is the mission, isn't it? We had that one mission over here. Is this the Hawkeye? Okay, well, let's go. Sorry for the up and downs here. Let's just fly over here and... Oh yeah, it is the Hawkeye, so... Okay. <laughs> we were close there. I think we can, um... We can kind of... Fire them off just a little bit earlier and at a little bit higher altitude. Let's see. I 
I think we can still go a little bit higher. We're getting close. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're firing just in front of them. So, let's try this altitude. Hopefully we can line up. No. Huh. Oh, it looks like they've changed the reload time on them, too. Let's just see here. Okay, so you get the double ver uh, the double shot quick enough, but... Honestly, it'd be probably easier just to... Instead of putting them on the bottom, just to put them on the wing. I didn't think we were going to hit the ground there. Oh, there goes part of our wing. Whatever. <laughs> okay, let's put these on the wing. Then... I guess it's kind of silly not to. I really like the cruise missiles more than uh, these ones, though. I will admit that. These ones just aren't as fun. Uh, yeah, let's put... Oh, we only have the one. So three and three. And one. Wait. That's an odd number. Alright, well, uh... I guess we can put this set on the... There we go. Uh, okay, we'll try one more run at it. We'll see what happens. Oh, we've lost both of them. Oh, I shouldn't have put that one on then. Whatever. Alright. Let's see how fast or uh, uh. really? Ah. Oh. Okay, now we've <laughs> like just obliterated our tail. Uh, let's we'll pick it up off the ground, like uh, just not up off the ground, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. Okay, here. Yeah. Yes, and these are the ones the Venture Tail Wings. They seem to actually work a little bit better than uh, Hawkeye Tail Wings. Okay, three is not four, but f uh, that's okay. Sorry. And we have one more kicking around on the ground there. I am not gonna... We're not gonna put it on anywhere. Well, I mean, like, put another wing on. Just so I can sit on. We'll go like that. <laughs> okay. So, clearly the bike wheels like to... Be a pin in our butt. Oh, come on. Really? Now that we've changed the wing, it doesn't want to... Sorry. Just trying to say I didn't want to turn properly there for a second. It was fighting me. Okay. Yeah, I think... Oh. That might have been it there. We're missing a wheel in the front there. Okay, well, let's see what we can... We might actually have to touch down people. <laughs> this is... Uh, it doesn't... It's not a turning like it was. Kind of crazy. Not... Well, whatever. <laughs> we'll muscle through it. See what we can do. Um, hopefully you guys don't get motion sickness. <laughs> and... Okay, come on, Hawkeye. Okay, so... You just have to be within a certain distance. Like, you know, a closer range. And they will target, you know, target your uh, target, I guess, or the guy in front of you, finally. But yeah, they don't have that million mile range on them, or <laughs> that massive range. But yeah, that's, uh, so far it kind of works out. There we go. Uh, doesn't look like, oh, okay, so we did get that one. We'll try and blow this other one up really quickly. Mm. 
Yeah, there's a big, uh, big difference when there's no tail wing on it, or you don't have enough of them. Okay, let's see if we can... Okay, <laughs> we're getting really good at this bombing stuff, I think. Enemies destroyed, we got our money. That was garbage money, it was a hundred. hundred bucks for that. <laughs> that's like petty, or uh, what is it, petty money. <laughs> but alright, I think that's going to do it for the episode today. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one, or we hopefully don't blow up. <laughs> alright, have a good one.